bite my finger, old gumbo. Hey. Hey, hey y'all. We was just enjoying some of our, our big old picture show concessionary in the lap. We didn't know nobody was a watching. Yeah, but somebody was a watching. Ow. Ow. That's what I said. Nobody wasn't watching. Anyway, we here want to welcome you back to the second installment of the big old picture show. I'm Jimbo. And I'm Jumbo. Yep. And the movie we have for you today is another in the series of political thrillers yeah. based on a book by Techno Wiz and Spy Guy, Tom Clancy. Yeah. This here picture was called The Sum of All Fears and featured Ben Affleck as Harrison Ford's son, Ryan Jr. And right from the get-go, I wasn't impressed. I mean, I, I like that old Indiana Jones in these movies, but being Affleck, he's just a big coward. Oh, yelly scaredy cat, you that's know, what he is. I mean, I gotta tell you, I ain't, I ain't the bravest fella around, and I, I have some of nearly every fear you can imagine. I got fear of heights, and fear of spiders, that's true. and fear of overcooked grits. Yeah, overcooked grits, that's bad. Stop it now, you, you, you're just giving me the creeps now, stop it. But I ain't never had some of all fears at one time. You can't go through life, let alone save the world when you, you've got so many fears wrapped up in you. You know what I mean? Yeah, poor, poor Ben Affleck, you yeah. know, it, must, it just must be horrible having some of all fears at one time. Yeah, so right there off the bat, I smelt trouble a brewing. Yeah, that's right, a brewing. Well, things were righted somewhat by the appearance of Morgan Freeman. Oh, yes, an excellent actor whom you may remember as Easy Reader from the PBS The Electric Company. I, I do, right. I do indeed. Yeah. Anyway, the plot of this here picture has to do with all these here nuclear weapons, you see, that we have amassed since the days of yore. The days of what? The past, Jay, the past. Oh. Uh -huh. Anyways, as I was explaining, one of these devices, or as we in the industry like to call them, WOMADs. That's weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> exactly there, yeah, Jay. Right. And it's gone off missing, which provides the impetus for the fast-moving yeah. thrill a minute yeah. cavalcade of special effects that is to follow. Gotta find that nuke. Gotta find it now. Oh, I'm sorry, I was in the moment. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I found this picture to be a bit, let's say, unbelievable. I mean, you don't just lose your WOMAD every day, if you know what I mean. And I didn't like it that, that Ben Affleck was just so full of, of all them fears. I mean, come on. He might need to get some uh, psychologic help. On the contrary, Jimbo, I found it to be the intriguing didactic on the perils of nuclear safety and accountability in the post-war millennium. What does that mean? I give it four pork rinds. Woo, yeah! Woo four out of five bags of pork rinds. The last, right. I can only give it two. Oh. But we must just gotta agree to disagree there, Jay. Well, I don't agree with that. Uh, hey, by the way, what? have you seen my shotgun? I just had it right here just a minute ago. Well, you, you haven't lost it, have you? I no. mean, we, we don't have our spot what? here unless we got our shotgun. Well, now, I don't, boy, you gotta look I, for it. Uh, hey, you well, we better go. Uh, until next time on the big old picture show, I'm Jimbo. And I'm Jumbo. I'm Jumbo. Find it? No. Now. Anyways, we're saying pack up those pork rinds and we'll see you at the big old...